I don't think we've talked to you since the extension, so congratulations, man. And uh, what, was, what was your reaction to signing um, You know, first and foremost, I want to say, you know, thank you. It was good to see all you guys. You know, <laughs> good to see you everything worked out and happy to be back, you know, with some familiar faces. So, no, I'm just kidding. But, man, it's been awesome. It's been a blessing to uh, be able to sign, you know, my third deal with the team and for another four years. So it's been amazing. You know, thank God. Thank my family. Thank my support system. I think my coaches and teammates, but uh, the best for us is still yet to come, and uh, I'm excited to be here. Stay home. What we know what this team means to you, what does it mean to know you're going to be a part of this team? You know, I mean, it means it mean a lot, you know. Um, uh, when uh, uh, front office make a commitment to you, and, um, and you know, something that's earned, you know, and I'm, I'm looking back on the years that I've been here, and you know, I see, you know, different places every year, and you know, I've been I've been a consistent, and it's been, been, a, uh, been a blessing, and I uh, mean, you know, doing something right. So I just want to keep, keep doing, keep growing, Keep leading and um, you know just give give my all. Was it kind of stressful at all when it was kind of hanging in the air and nothing had happened? Or, I mean, we obviously don't know uh, what's going on. But. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't. I wouldn't say it was a thing of stress. You know, I, I feel like I put myself in a position to have success. You know, um, you know, wherever God put my feet. You know, so. Um, but you know, he wanted me, he wanted me to be here at home. You know, I still got some work to do, and um, you know, I'm excited to get back to work with my teammates, my new teammates, and uh, new coaches, new staff. So I mean, it's been it's been amazing to be able to be back. The energy is amazing, and uh, I'm just super, super encouraged for the season, and I can't wait to get back to it. What would it mean to you if you could end your career here? It's very rare nowadays, <coughs> but if you could be a Falcon for life, a DP said you just certainly deserve it. You know, it, it would mean a lot, but at the same time, you know, we're taking it year by year, you know, absolutely. absolutely. So I'm, I plan on playing for a long time, you know, so um, – I mean, if I'm going in the year 16, they might be like, look, man, we tired of having you around. Not just, I'm just kidding. But, uh, you know, you never know. You know, so, but I'm excited about these next, you know, four years. And um, we're trying to make the most of out, most out of it. Um, we got guys that are willing to compete, trying to go win a championship. And um, there's a lot of guys that came into this building that I believe in. And um, so I'm super, super excited. Brady, Coach said that he uh, felt like this group kind of has a chip on their shoulder. Would you feel like that this group feels like they need to prove that they can win in this league? You know, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I feel like, and that's that's what makes it so exciting. You know, I'm, I'm a kind of guy that always had a chip on my shoulder so I could see it, you know. And um, so it's a lot of guys that's some great players and they're hungry, you know, they want their respect. And we want our respect as an organization, you know. Coach wants respect as a coach. You know, Terry wants respect as a GM. So everybody hungry, you know. And you can't, you can't. You can't beat that. You can't coach that. And you go, it's only a feel. I think everybody feel it, you know. And uh, so, so I'm excited to be a part about a, a part of a group like that. Everybody eat or learn. And um, so, I mean, it's just it's just a great great time to be here. So you talked about a lot of new faces. There's a lot this year. I mean, first time in your career, Matt Ryan hasn't been yeah, here. Yeah. Do you feel like you're kind of the face of the team now? I mean, you know, that all that take care of itself. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think this whole organization, the Falcons, you know, it's a team. You know what I'm saying? About one player, about nobody. I, I've been here, obviously, but at the same time, we got other, we got other guys, the stars. You know, what that's going to be up and coming. We got a great quarterback in Marcus Mariota. You know, we got a great draft pick in Ritter. So you, you got guys who can compete, and it's, it's going to be a team effort. You know, and uh, it ain't even about you know who to face. All that stuff will play out. We let the media deal with that. You know what I'm saying? So it's all good, and um, we just, we just ready to grind and get it. Thank you, Grady. You know, speaking of stuff the media deals with, everybody on the outside saying, you know, oh, rebuilding, things like that. How, do you look at this team like that, or how, how do you we look at it? prepare every day to win. We pre pre prepare every day to win. We ain't, we ain't lined up to take no wolf from nobody. Man, a lot of things were going through my mind, honestly, just like how the move was going to go, what to expect when I get here, and a lot of things. But um, I'm excited about this opportunity, man. I feel like this is the perfect system for me to be in, and um, – I really, really like just the people I'm around, the environment, and I feel like this is going to be a lot of fun for me. I feel like this is going to be a good place. Did you, did you know a trade was coming? Did you have an indication? Or? I did not. I did not know the trade was coming. It kind of caught me off guard, and, uh, you know, my head was kind of spinning for a while. So once I kind of, you know, grasped the idea that I was coming back to the, the right side of the country, I, <laughs> it, it felt good. How much work did you do with Marcus uh, in your time there? Uh, we had quite a bit of work together. We kind of built up a working relationship, and um, I'm glad that he's the quarterback here because uh, it's a familiar face, man. You know, anytime you're coming into a new NFL building, you know, it, it could be kind of hard to make that transition. So I'm so glad I have Marcus here just to make it easy on me, some guy that I can pick his brain and ask questions to. There are lots of big guys um, in this pattern. Uh, how do you think that uh, that can help you guys? Um, I feel like this system is built for big body receivers, um, and we have a lot of those. And I feel like we can all just feed off each other, learn from each other, and just grow as players. And I feel like we all can have a hand in this. 
Did you see Darren Waller's comments about you? I did. Um, Darren Waller was a guy that I grew extremely close to. You know, I'm not I'm not a big talker, and he's not either. But uh, we developed a relationship, and I really like I really took a lot from that guy. And he's somebody that I can like to this day just you know text shoot him a text or something like that, and he'll you know respond. So. I really appreciate him and what he's done for me and how he's helped me grow as a player. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about Conway? Oh, man. Uh, you know, not too much to, to tell, honestly. Uh, small town, you know, very united community. You know, we all look out for each other. And, uh, you know, I just have a lot of pride in coming from that place. And it kind of it gave me my values that I still carry with me today. And um, I just have a lot of love for the place, honestly. You already mentioned how excited you are. It just feels like home, man. You know, anybody who's from the South can tell you that there's no place like home, you know, sweet tea, you know, just community, country life, greenery, trees, just things like the small things, man. When you, when you get in this profession, you really learn to appreciate the small things in life, and I'm just so happy to be home. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> How much did you know about Arthur's yes, offense before the trade? Did you have to you know, um, go to YouTube immediately and start? I knew a little bit just from his past history in Tennessee. I did not get to watch a lot of it when he came here in Atlanta, but um, I just knew that you know he liked the big body receivers and they they ran a lot of you know in breaking routes with a lot of they love guys who can get the yak and make big plays off yak. So you know when I heard I was coming here, I felt like it was a really good fit for me. It was probably as good as it was going to get. Anytime a, a high profile position player like a quarterback comes in. Filling in or replacing a guy who's been the guy for 13 years. There's right, a right. big spotlight. From what you know about Marcus, how will he handle this? People tend to forget that, you know, Marcus is a Heisman Trophy winner, man. So he's not new to pressure, you know. And I feel like I remember a game back in um, back in Las Vegas. He, Derek Carr went down, and uh, everybody was kind of panicking because Derek Carr, you know, he's 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 a tree in there. You know, he's rooted in there. And uh, Marcus was like, "Hey, man, like I've been here before, like." Cool, calm, collected, man. And you ever talk to him, he says the gray hairs in his hair are for wisdom. So I feel like if anybody can do that job, it's him, man. TJ Yates was talking about the value that he puts on receivers mm -hmm. bring physicality. What about for you? How much pride do you take in? Um, I take a lot of pride in that. And, uh, you know, it's something that I got to really, you know, get back in the rhythm of. I feel like I got away from it a little bit, you know, being in up in uh, Las Vegas. And, uh, you know, these guys, they play physical here. Like, the, the DBs are going to get up and press you in this division. They're going to get up, and it's going to be man-to-man. -man. So, you know, I'm going to have a lot of fun just getting back to beating man-to-man, -man, be, getting back to putting my hands on people and just being the true receiver I am. Do you see yourself as a mentor, or, or is he learning from you? How you yeah, absolutely. I mean, I always kind of view that the relationship in the quarterback room kind of important and special. I always felt that a good quarterback room can allow everybody to, to be better and allow everybody to grow. So. Um, you know, when we're out here competing, whether it's Dez, whether it's Felipe, we're all trying to make each other better. And at the end of the day, if they got questions or if I got questions, you know, they're a great set of eyes for me as well. So um, at the end of the day, you know, we're all out here trying to compete. I think it just makes everybody a little bit better. I love it. I love it. You know, I, I um, at every level of my career, I've kind of had to do it. And um, again, I think it's just a great opportunity for us to get better as a group. Um, so I look forward to it. I embrace it. Um, and Des has been awesome. He's a great young guy. Um, and again, it's, it's important that that room and those relationships be um, genuine. And I think it's been great so far. Who was your relationship with Brian Edwards, who uh, was later traded? Yeah, B's my guy. I love that guy. Um, you know, we developed a relationship in Las Vegas. Um, he came in as a, as a rookie when I first got there. So uh, we were kind of learning the system together. Um, I love his competitiveness. I love his drive. I think he is a great addition to that room. Marcus, uh, Arthur was talking earlier, and he said it's fun to be with Marcus again. Is that how you would describe kind of coming out here with Arthur Smith calling plays again? Yeah, absolutely. It, it's nice to have um, a little bit of familiarity with the system. It's nice to come out here um, and just, you know, it, be around familiar faces. Um, you know, I've kind of bounced around the last couple of years in my career. Um, so to be around people that you know that respect and love the game is just as much as you do, um, it makes coming out here that much more enjoyable. When it comes to like, I guess, the learning this game and understanding how hands-on is Arthur Smith with you in terms of meeting, going over film, and, and even out here? Yeah, he's very hands-on. And I, I think he, you'll see it. it it's, 
the system will have his fingerprint. Um, but what's really cool about this staff is everyone gets to implement their ideas. Um, you know, everyone gets to collaborate and create um, some just awesome stuff. So for us as players, it's exciting. When you're sitting in install, um, you know, everyone's getting an opportunity to kind of learn the system together. And at the end of the day, when you get to come out here and, and perform and do those things, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, no, it's been awesome. You know, again, young guy coming in here, uh, he's got all the physical ability. Um, and I think for us, as we continue to help him grow, I think our entire quarterback room just has to continue to help him uh, mature and learn the system so he can go out there and play fast. How Marcus, much of it came back to you? How much, uh, you know, of the system is still the same and how much are you, uh, you know, having to learn new stuff? Yeah, there's some, there is some similarities, um, but there's also a little bit of differences, which I think has to happen, right? I think over the course of a couple of years, um, Art's learned some things, um, has gone through different situations, different experiences. Um, so I think being around it now, I, I like where the system's at. I think it really tailors to the people and the, the players that we have here. Um, so it just allows guys to go out there and play fast and do their, do their thing. You talk about the other places that you've been able to play. How are you taking this opportunity different than those previous stops? Well, I think for me personally, the last couple of years was a learning opportunity. Um, you know, for me here, previously when I was at Tennessee, I had an opportunity to play. I was a starter. So um, being around that and then going and, and learning for a couple of years, you're kind of hungry to get back on the field again. Um, but my mentality and my approach has never changed. I've always tried to focus on getting better one day at a time, controlling what I can control. And at the end of the day, if, if things work out great, if not, uh, I'll be a guy that's supportive and, and try to uh, be the best team player that I can be. Can you repeat the question, please? Yeah, I, uh, first of all, I'm, I'm excited. Um, with those guys in there, they, they make you look good. You know, um, you don't always have to be perfect with your throws. Um, being able to have these guys, um, whether it's a catch radius, uh, whether it's their ability to get in and out of cuts. Um, you know, these guys have really made all of us quarterbacks look good this, this off season. So um, it's a fun group to be around, a lot of energy, a lot of juice. And um, I look forward to just continuing to get better with them. You mentioned how each of your stops has kind of been a different thing that you've learned. Is this one more of that mentorship, leadership kind of role than maybe your last stops? Um, I don't know. I think it's still pretty young to maybe to detail it that way. You know, I really view it as another opportunity. I always kind of try to focus on what I can do to be the best player that I can be. Um, but at the end of the day, we can all kind of do good things to help this team. So um, mentorship, yeah, absolutely. I think I've kind of always felt that way. It didn't matter if I was in Tennessee or in Vegas. Um, so at the end of the day, I'm going to help all these young guys out. I'm going to do my best to be the best version of myself on the field and um, just try to win games. Does it feel different to have so many young guys to kind of work with? Well, I think that's what's fun, right? Like you, you get to kind of be a part of their, their molding and get to kind of help them shape what their professional career is going to be. So um, I look forward to that. I think it's pretty cool to be a part of that, to have a little bit of influence. Um, and we're just going to do our best to, to help them achieve their goals. Yeah, but I think really what we're focused on is just trying to get better one day at a time. You know, I think the outside noise, what people say, ultimately does has, has no effect on what's going on in the field. Um, I appreciate these guys. They, you know, we've been busting it for the last few weeks now. And um, just to come out here and just take care of what needs to be done out here and not worry about the outside noise, I think that's what motivates a lot of our guys. And it's just it's a cool group to be a part of. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've been in there a couple of times as, as an opponent, so um, it'll be fun to, to be part of the home team this time. Got time for one more? Another guy early. you play with in Vegas, Casey Hayward, what makes him such a good defender? Uh, I think a lot of it is experience. I think he, it's pretty impressive, um, just his pattern recognition. Um, he still physically can do it, getting in and out of cuts, um, you know, but I, I think I've, I've learned a lot from him just being around him, you know, being able just to talk ball and be like, Hey, what'd you see there? How come you, you broke on that early? You know, what can I do better? Um, so it's been cool because I, I've had that relationship now with Casey for about a year now. And, um, you know, I think he can also bring that to, to the young DB room. So 
Um, it's cool, again, like I said, we had a good mix of older and newer players, and I think what we can do to help shape these young guys is going to be a lot of fun.